I'm Nick Altmaier with LincolnLewisCounty.com. We're here today at the Constable Fire Hall, and we have Fire Chief Daryl Ortlib and EMT Jen Marchione. And we're here today to talk about the brand new snowmobile rescue that Constable Fire Hall has gotten here. So, uh, Jen or Daryl, do you want to kick it off and kind of tell us uh, you got the brand new snowmobile here? What was the what was the uh, reasoning behind getting the new snowmobile rescue? The incentive to get the new sled was that this current one is a 2005 and while it's served its purpose and done a great job and responded to hundreds if not thousands of responses out on the trails over the last 17 years, it was obviously time to update and uh, we got a larger um, equipped sled to handle these uh, calls. All right. So not every uh, fire agency in Lewis County has a snowmobile rescue unit. Um, why is it important for Constableville to have a snowmobile rescue unit? And what other agencies in the area do you support with this unit? We, we pretty much support the, the southern half of Lewis County. Uh, Boonville does have their own uh, snowmobile rescue uh, as well as West Lake. Uh, but we, we are called out probably as much for mutual aid as, as our own calls. Um, any given Saturday on, on Tug Hill here in the high market area, there's a couple thousand at least snowmobiles that pass through. So it, it, it gets used a lot. Last year alone was 16 separate accidents that we responded to in our district and, and as mutual aid. Um, those 16 accidents produced 25 injuries. So um, the, the 2005 has definitely served its purpose and served us well. And we just felt that it was time to upgrade and, and um, get with the times and, and we were mm -hmm. fortunate enough to find this 2022 Yamaha. And what are some of the differences between the two sleds? Are there, um, like when you say upgrades, are is there better technology, better, um, what kind? What are some of the new features that the new sled has that the old one didn't? Uh, well, 17 years on a snowmobile, um, the technology between the two is just, it's, it's unreal. Um, that, that model there is a two-stroke uh, 600cc. Um, this particular model is a 1050cc uh, four-stroke. So fuel, fuel mileage is huge. Um, this four-stroke will probably almost double what the two-stroke will for mileage. Um, almost zero oil consumption. Um, this unit has a high-low and reverse. Uh, it's got heated seats. It's got power steering. It's, it's got just about everything we could ask for. Okay. And so I know part of the part of the goal in paying for the, the new upgraded slide is some fundraising activities. So you guys will have some fundraisers coming up uh, specifically for that project. Um, did you want to talk a little about what they might be? Absolutely. The first fundraiser that we'll be holding is on February 20th and it will be up on the trail system right on the corner of Mackey Road and Plummer up in High Market. So we're asking it to be um, hopefully well attended by both car and by snowmobiler. That's why we did it right there at that intersection. Uh, it will be donation based. We'll be serving, grilling up hamburgers and hot dogs and having some chips and, and water and soda available. Uh, we're gonna be starting at 11 a.m. Okay, and if community members are um, very, the, the ones that are very supportive of the new sled and things like that, if they wanna make a, a donation specifically for the sled program, what can they do to, to get that donation to you? If they'd like to mail in a donation, they can mail it to us. Obviously, Constableville Volunteer Fire Company, P.O. Box 438, Constableville, New York, 13325. Or, even easier, if you want to make a donation via your credit card, we have a PayPal link on our Constableville Fire Facebook page. And you just click on the link and make the donation. Okay, perfect. So, obviously snowmobile rescue is, is an important thing here in Lewis County. Um, I think, Jen, you and I talked a little bit before about there's three or four agencies in the county that have the snowmobile rescue unit. Um, so a lot of mutual aid and things like that. Can you kind of take us a little bit through what goes through a snowmobile rescue call? So um, what happens and why do you need the sled sometimes to get to the patients? So more times than not, those crashes happen around up on the trail system miles back. So dispatch, when they're able to get through to make a phone call, sometimes the sled parties have to go miles before there's even cell service. 
to be able to make the call for help. And then we have to get the call to 911. We receive the, the dispatch. We load up in the truck and this, and we also take our ambulance along, get out to the trailhead, wherever is closest to where that patient potentially is, because not everybody knows where they are on the trail system, unfortunately, when that crash occurs and we will go miles back so we unload our toboggan we unload the sled emts and firefighters pile onto the sled and into the toboggan as much manpower as we can get out there to assist that patient and sometimes there's more than one patient involved so we may make multiple trips out to ambulances staged on the roadside okay and this is your way of getting your uh, rescue equipment, your um, you know your, EMTs, your EMT bags and the all EMTs. Of that stuff everybody goes with us. Yep. Okay. Yep. Our AED, whatever's necessary. Okay. We so, actually take a lot of equipment back with us. It's it's kind of neat to look in our toboggan and it's it which is inside the trailer. That's it's almost level with with emergency equipment, and, uh, lighting, um, splints, oxygen bottles. It's, it, there's a lot to it. Right. And then the toboggan is the method that the patient is brought out of the, from the accident scene. So the snowmobile, the rescue snowmobile actually tows the, the, the toboggan from the scene? Correct. The, our, so our snowmobiles will tow the rescue toboggan with the patient and at least one EMT in with the patient out to the staging ambulance on the roadside for further evaluation, treatment, and transport to the appropriate facility. Okay. And then um, I know you guys are, are getting it scheduled, but the new snowmobile will be, um, you know, get the graphics on it with the, with the rescue snowmobile, everything like that. Um, do they have lights and sirens and things like that? Uh, they'll have lights. Um, we were actually uh, um, pretty fortunate already. Uh, just with a couple of days that we've had to sled in and kind of got out to the public that a, a camp owner um, that lives in our district, has his camp in our district is, has already reached out to us and, and has offered his services for emergency lighting. So we did speak with him today. Um, so in the next week or two, we'll be getting that set. Um, the uh, the graphics, um, that's, it's actually leaving tonight to be measured um, at the graphics company tomorrow. So that's something else that's coming together here. Okay, uh, and for people that use the snowmobile trail system and things like that, um, are there, is it kind of like with the emergency vehicles, are there specific color lights on the emergency snowmobile? Like what p should people be looking out for to get out of the way when, when you guys are coming through? Well, any, any emergency vehicle, uh, police or fire in New York State will have uh, red facing, red or white facing front, um, and then in the rear they can have uh, um, multiple colors. They can, uh, amber, red, or blue, but for the most part, if it's an emergency vehicle in New York State, you're going to have red and uh, and white. Okay, and you guys get the flashing lights and things like that, so when people see those on the trail, kind of clear the trail system, or the trail out so you guys can get through and uh, And if onto you see us accident. coming, we'll have the lights on, but we'll also be towing the toboggan. So we don't usually go out on that trail system without that toboggan with us anywhere. So that will be coming along, and it depending on who's responding here in Constableville, our choice is the snowmobile sled. Um, a couple other locations within our county that do have rescue equipment have chosen to use um, a UTV with tracks, um, and that would be Krogan, Martinsburg, and West Leiden. And then down in Redfield that responds into the southernmost tip of Lewis County, they also have a snowmobile and toboggan set up just like we do. Okay, so um, as we close out here today, uh, obviously some exciting news for the Constableville community and surrounding communities that depend on the snowmobile rescue. Um, do you have a safety message? Just uh, obviously over the last couple of weekends, we've been getting a lot more snow. Um, probably, you know, not a lot of places in the in the state get, get a lot of snow this time of year. So a lot of people come, come up here to ride and, and enjoy the trail system up here. So what's your message to them um, to have a safe trip while they're out here? Ride safe, ride slow, ride right, and know where you are on the trail system. Make sure that everyone in your party is familiar with trail signs, intersections, where you were at last. I can't stress that enough. When the calls come in to 911 and folks are unfamiliar where you are, 
and then they have to ping your phone to try to find you that's all time that's mm -hmm. that's all precious time before we can dispatch the dispatchers can get us out to get to you all right well we appreciate both your time today um was there anything else that you wanted to mention before we leave i just like to toss it out there if you make a donation to our fire company we are 501c3 and all donations are tax exempt okay is there any other equipment that you're looking to get to supplement the new snowmobile or um as far as like the other snow rescue equipment uh you're, you're good with that for right now um in the, in the future, we're looking to probably upgrade our toboggan. Uh, right now we have an open top, what they call an open top uh, rescue toboggan. That, that's 22 years old, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. So we are looking at an enclosed, an enclosed uh, snow balance, they call, uh, made in Canada. So okay. right now we're just in the beginning stages of maybe looking at pricing on that. And so maybe All right. next year. Great. All right, guys. Well, thank you for your time today, and hopefully uh, wish you guys all a, a, a safe season out on the trails this year. Thanks, Thank Nick. Yep.